Hi, my name's Patrice Halliday Larson and I'm a Stamping Art Demonstrator. Today I want to show you a quick and easy way that you can add colour to your card using sponges. I'm going to be using two different colour links today. I'm going to be using Island Indigo and Night of Navy. I normally recommend that you always start with your lightest coloured ink pad first, but because I've pre-embossed my piece of card, I'm going to be using the embossed areas as a bit of a guideline as into where I want to add my ink. So for today I'm actually going to be starting with a darker colour. Okay, so when you're sponging, what I recommend you do is ink up your sponge and tap off any excess colour before going onto your piece of card. I always work in small circular motions because I find that this actually distributes the ink more evenly. The way that I look at it is, you can always add colour, but you can't take colour off. So when you're sponging, I always build up the colour nice and slowly. One of the things which I've found in the past is when I've pre-embossed an area, it, it can take a little bit longer to actually build up the colour. So what you can actually do is ink up your sponge and you can just lightly tap it over the embossed area. And this will build up your colour just a little bit quicker. Okay, so that's starting to look pretty good. Now what I always do in between adding the next colour is I always give my card a bit of a wipe down with a bit of tissue. Now I'm going to come in with the other colour, which is Island Indigo, and do the same thing. Ink it up and wipe my excess ink off first. As you can see it can create a little bit of a bob and you don't want that on your piece of card. So once again I'm going to work in small circular motions and build up the colour slowly. When I'm sponging I always tend to go over a little bit of the area that I've previously coloured in the other, other coloured ink and it just blends them together a little bit nicer. So doing it like this you can get your diff different depths and colour. Okay, so I just want to add a little bit more of my darker colour. And once I'm happy with the amount of colour that I've added, then I'll go over the piece of card and give it another quick wipe. Okay, and this is what I made with the little image that I've just sponged as the background. So what I've actually done for the little fish is I've um, cut that or I've embossed it on a, a separate piece of card, coloured it and cut it out. This is what the inside looks like. The other thing that I made was a little card. And that was doing exactly the same technique, doing the sponging. If you'd like a little bit more information about what products I've used or would like to place an order, pop on over to my website createwithstamps.co.nz. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video.